Hey guys, Ben1979 here. Gonna do a little sharpening session on the CBD Praxis, but I wanted to show you guys the process and you know the uh, step between what I'm gonna do sharpening wise, and I'm gonna give you guys some footage also uh, with my little uh, USB microscope that I just purchased, arrived today, so I thought I'd put it through its paces. So guys, I am gonna show you guys the edge first all right so this is the edge of the knife so you guys can see there a little bit of silver towards the tip there so let me try to focus that little focus knob a little bit there you go all right guys so you can see a little bit of silver towards that tip so this is kind of a work sharp edge a little bit so a little bit factory edge, a little bit of uh, work sharp, a little bit of stone. I've uh, passed it on the on the crock stick a little bit, so you guys can see right there. So I'm going towards the tip and trying to maneuver this thing that is going to be there. So this is the tip right here. So you guys can see there's nothing else afterwards. So this is the tip. So the tip needs a little bit of work, but that's always the case with a knife. I'm going to try to reprofile this guys with the workshop precision adjust. I know this is going to be a pain and it's going to be probably, but the, the CVV has got such a thin edge that it should be pretty cool. So you can see a little bit of silver there. So I'll show you guys after this. Um, whoops, this is getting stuck. All right. So I'll show you guys after this uh, the top of the edge. So this is the edge itself. So this is the apex. You guys can see a little bit of smush there. That's what's fun about it. You can really get down and just see everything. So you guys can see it's pretty dark though. This is pretty dark. So going all the way towards the back. Now the CVV I might be able to sharpen the entire edge because there's a sharpening choil and a little bit of a piece of lint there, right there on top of that edge. So you can see this hair, this, this edge is pretty dark already. So. I think this is, I didn't t touch it too much from the factory. Well, this is a pretty sharp knife, guys. But let's try to make it a little bit sharper. Uh, there you can see a little bit more silver right there on that edge. This is the back of the edge. And we're getting towards the choil. And this is the back of the edge. All right, so now let me show you guys from the top here. All right, that's perfect. All right, guys, so let's go back towards the back. And now let's move our way forward. And you guys can see there's some silver there, so it's not it's not all that, you know, sharp there. So it's kind of, well, well this is the crock stick edge. So you guys can see those tiny refinement pattern there. So this is me uh, just... Uh, you know, going with the crock stick, with the white rod on the crock stick, the white ceramic, and just uh, just doing a little bit of a touch up on the edge. So this is putting a micro bevel on the edge. So, guys, I'm gonna try to go towards 16 degrees uh, on the uh, work sharp. So, hopefully, this is gonna do a good good job at it. So you guys can see there those little scratch, uh, that little silver part. This is where I've you know, just touch it up with the crock stick. So this is really fun to, to be able to see that just like that. So let me go back towards that tip. I'm just gonna go real quick here, just to give you guys a little, little vision, Wanda vision, that is. Eh, that's too much reflection there. Uh, that's perfect. Uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's the only thing is you have to play with the focus with this thing and you can't move it too much once you're focused in. That's pretty good. So you guys can see towards that tip there, you can see the scratch mark and you can see uh, the fact that there's a little bit of light reflecting there. So I'm gonna have to play with the lighting because the lighting is gonna be the most important when it comes to this so 
all right guys so five minutes in so now let's go this is probably going to be a long video guys i'm telling you guys right now this might be a long video so but i'm not going to film the entire process i'm just going to come back and just show you guys some passages on the microscope real quick and the steps that i'm in all right guys see you again in a bit all right guys quick update so i'm done reprofiling this side on the um the 320 stones so you guys can see there this is that 320 so i'm done reprofiling the cvb has got a really thin edge and knives with really thin edge are going to do a little bit better with reprofiling so let me show you guys here on the microscopes i also got my jewels lens i got the entire kit here let me just show you guys like that I'll try to raise the brightness on on this thing here so let me just do this recenter it all right guys so i'm just going to move that around on the edge and show you guys the scratch pattern so let me try to focus so that it's focused and nice so guys, this is the scratch pattern that you can expect from the tweet, uh, 320. So pretty coarse, well, not that coarse, but still not that bad either. So just try to get you guys a good angle. There you go. You guys will be able to see a little bit better like this. I just turn down the uh, the ISO on the on my phone so yeah you guys can see the scratch pattern right there so pretty sure I raised the burr I feel a little bit on the other side and you guys can see that little part of shine that's shining on the edge there uh, that is uh, the edge rolling over so uh, pretty sure that that's uh, that's my burr there so I am just gonna keep going a little bit I'm gonna flip it do the other side and then we're gonna switch grit and we're gonna go on the 600 and see the scratch pattern once i am done on the 600 guys so 320 scratch pattern on the cvv praxis so all right guys hang on i'm come back in a little bit all right guys we are back i had to go charge the little microscope a little bit because <laughs> it was uh ran out of battery so that's what happens when you don't charge it fully before you start playing with it anyways wanted to show you guys the uh, scratch pattern now on the 600 so let me zoom in on the iPad here click and I'll zoom in maybe a little tad more like so and now let me just play with the brightness so all right guys just gonna go fully towards the edge just gonna go and show you guys the scratch pattern there how it is on a 600 so you guys can see there so now I'm, after that I'm gonna go on the ceramic and after that well it might be the lapping film so all the steps I'm gonna bring you guys through through the microscope and just see the scratch pattern right there see how it looks this little scratch pattern and towards that tip there so a little bit of metal you guys can see on that tip all right guys so i'm gonna come back with the ceramic afterwards so the equivalent of 1000 and after that we'll just uh, see how, how the scratch patterns are all right guys all right guys i am done with the ceramic so uh, these steps once you pass the uh the grinding and the initial phase the rest goes a little bit quicker so ceramic all that stuff your angles already set all you need to do is refine those scratches and that part goes a little bit quicker guys so right now uh finish the white so i'm going to show you guys the edge right here on my little microscope so we just readjust here click the contrast so you guys can see a little bit better so you guys can see it's starting to change color there's still some scratches in there and that's normal you're never going to get rid of a scratch even if you go to 0.03 micron with the lapping film you're going to make them this almost disappear but they're still going to be there so you guys can see it's starting to get a little bit of shine there it's starting to get a little bit of shine so not a mirror but close so i'm just going to go towards the edge 
to show you guys with the ceramic the scratch pattern like so all right guys so now I think it's gonna be time for the lapping lapping film so all right so you guys see this is with the 1000 ceramic so this is one what with the 1000 guys uh, the white ceramic on the work sharp so now let me go get my lapping film and we will come back with the lapping film and see through those steps on the lapping films what it is so I hope I won't have to cut too much too many lapping film because that's gonna take me a while all right guys come back in a few all right guys I am done with the nine microns so this is the clear one so you can see the uh, little uh, number there on there so this is a clear blue one uh, nine microns let's inspect the edge click a little zooming in on the iPad all right so I am gonna lower the ISO a little bit all right now I'm gonna try to do a good job because now it's starting to reflect a lot so this thing is starting to get polished up so let's go towards the tip and let's see towards that tip there everything is nice and polished everywhere uh, I did have to raise the angle guys so I'm whenever you're passing from the regular stones to the uh, to the uh, PSA lapping film just make sure to go back with the sharpie and an old piece of lapping film and just make sure you're hitting the edge and you're hitting the entire surface uh, because unfortunately uh, you're uh, you're gonna be um, just a, sh a smidge shy of the actual edge when you're uh, when you're doing that so you need to uh, to just uh, go back with a sharpie and just just raise it just ever so slightly so that's why I had to do on my uh, on the work sharp just raise it ever so slightly just to uh, be able to touch that edge to compensate for the thickness of the lapping film so you guys could raise it just enough to just compensate for the lapping films if you think it's you're looking at the uh, at the device itself and you're just gonna be uh, raising it just a tad bit so smidge more uh, you know hair f little small lines there but I think this is pretty much good on that so let me go back towards the end there so pretty good this is you can see it's starting to shine like crazy now it's starting to get a mirror so and I'm just on a nine micron I still have uh, three more steps to go so uh, I got the pink the green and the white one so this was the clear one the nine micron so let me just go here just like that oh yeah you, get, you guys are getting a good good image right there so all the way back so I think I'm doing a pretty good job guys uh, on the edge so can't wait to see the final results and I'll show you guys the edge uh, real quick just like that with the nine microns so right now you can't even see it's all black uh, you can see a little bit of a shine there towards the end but if I move towards there it is a little bit so I'm gonna have to work on that if I can't get rid of that silver I'm gonna raise the uh, the angle just a tad bit more just to be able to raise uh, to get rid of that angle uh, that that shine there so but I still have more to go and I still have to do a little bit but right now there's not a ton of shine there so you're looking at the dark part in the middle this is almost like an x-ray or something you're looking at the dark part and you don't want to see stuff like that so that little reflection in the middle you don't want to see that so I might have to raise just a smidge oh towards that top here Ooh, yeah gonna have to work on that but hopefully the different lapping films are gonna do it if not I'm gonna go back with the 9 micron and just raise it oh here it needs a little bit more work so alright guys so anyways thought this was gonna be interesting just to see on that edge right there there's a little bit of gunk and junk but other than that 
that is pretty good like that guys so yeah I'm gonna have to work especially on this part here on the belly so I'm gonna have to go back a little bit maybe with the uh, nine microns and just I might I might have to just to raise it just a tad bit I, I went with the sharpie guys I just went with the sharpie method and just uh, to see if um, if I was uh, taking the uh, that little smidge on the edge so I'm gonna go back on the um, I'm gonna go to the different films now. I'm gonna go uh, pink, green, white, and I'm gonna see if I can't uh, get rid of that shine on the edge. If not, I'm gonna have to raise it again, go back on the nine microns, or maybe even the ceramic, and just work on that little piece, uh, that that shine that is there. So, guys, it's it's almost becoming a science now. The, the, the knife is sharp. Don't get me wrong. This knife is really sharp now it can slice paper it can you know cut hair it can do a whole lot of thing but i want to get rid of that little fine detail on the edge and just you know make sure that you don't see anything that it is pure darkness that you know it's black all the way to that line and there's no silver and no shine so all right guys i'm keeping going hey guys quick note i ended up cutting the uh the part of the video where i did the pink and the green uh, simply because after doing pink and green I decided to go back and after playing with 600 with the ceramic I decided to just go back to 320 and just scrap my mirror edge and just go back to get rid of that little uh, gray line on the uh, on the apex so just went back there and just redo redid it all so uh, from start to finish so I, and it was it was starting to get a long video guys so I decided to uh, half an hour would be enough so I decided to cut those last part and just show you guys the final product with the white uh, the white uh, 0.3 micron so at the end so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this so if you did thumbs up is always appreciated catch you guys on the next one all right guys final part of the journey you guys probably won't believe me but it took me about, well, between taking breaks, waiting for my, uh, you know, microscope to recharge a few times and stuff like that. I'm probably into eight hours of doing this for my CVV praxis. So reprofiling it and putting a mirror edge on. But the most important thing to me was the sharpness and the fact that you see basically nothing. So I'm just going to show you guys that. So this is the white one the white uh, 0.3 microns so that's the final stage that's the polishing so let me just show you guys the edge first let's look at the apex real quick so this is what you want to see guys this is on the apex and if you guys don't believe me just wait two seconds so this is on the apex of the blade so let me just put a piece of paper lordy 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 look at that pure darkness all over oh lord that's so oh that is what i wanted sharpness wise guys so a little bit of few a piece of um you can see there it is just a little bit of dust that's selling in from the air so and that's that little dot there you probably guys probably won't be able to see it but that's me just playing with a piece of paper earlier so let's go down on the edge let's go down on the edge this is the belly i worked on the belly guys i went back the last green when you saw the green one when you see the green one when i do the editing you see the green i went back to 320 i went back to the beginning just because i saw some reflection or a little bit of shine and silver on the belly here now you can't see snot on the belly, so zero, nada, nothing. You can't see zilch. Maybe a little bit towards the back here as we arrive towards the back. I'll just show you guys with a little piece of paper right there. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Yeah. Get it. Oh, I can't wait to play with this but not too much so you can see a little tiny bit of silver there a little tiny bit but you know what I'll take it it's not towards the tip so 
and a little bit there if you keep going but it's so slim and tiny it could almost be chucked as you know a little bit of dust that's a little speck of dust there uh, a little bit of shiny silver there and you know what this is towards the back of the blade so I don't really mind there if it's a little bit less sharp and by less sharp I mean it won't it won't even be noticeable back to darkness so it's barely noticeable and at that point I'm happy because I'm eight hours in so I don't want I don't want to do anything else so <laughs> alright guys I'm moving the microscope ever so slightly alright so time to look at the edge guys so this is towards the back this thing this is as good as it gets it, it can't be through mirror guys it's gonna be mirror when it's gonna be on paper and when you're gonna be shining paper just like I'm doing if I'm going on the edge here and I'm placing it towards the apex look at the edge and on a microscopic level oh yeah you can see that you can see it perfect so you guys can see the scratches but you see that it is a pure nice little mirror you yeah. ah guys damn man ah, I worked so hard for this shit but it was Oh, I can't wait to just take off the blade. I'm just probably going to lap it one or two more times just to clean it up and just to uh, just to make it really nice before I take it out of the vise. But I'm just going to lap it just a little bit more time, just ever so gently, guys. I've been caressing this thing, literally caressing this blade for like eight hours. So, And I think it paid off. You can You can see the darkness. It's like... It's like oblivion and oh, that get me that gets me giddy guys that is getting me giddy oh giggity all right guys so I'll come back with a conclusion but I just want to show you guys the final step here this is gonna be a long video I'm sorry guys I'm sorry but I'm so enthusiastic it's just oh, I want to show you guys everything on that and just having that little microscope just to see the edge and, and what's going on is just a game changer I'll tell you guys right now, it's a game changer. This is also useful, jeweler's lens, useful to remove the marker and to see all the way up to the, towards the end. Because with a microscope, it's so zoomed in that it's zooming in past the marker. So it's zooming in on the blade, so you, you can't see the marker with the uh, with the microscope because you're you're passing through the the not the molecules, but you're passing through the color of the uh, with the lighting. It's just you can't see it, so. Whew. All right, guys, let me just zoom back there. All right, so I'll conclude this video and I'll show you guys the result, all right? All right, guys, final conclusion. I've been working on this edge for eight hours and damn, the results are pretty good, guys. They're more than good, they're fantastic. You guys can see that reflection right there. I mean, it's just... Ah, uh, it's Gucci. You guys saw it on a close-up with a microscope. This thing is Gucci. All right, let's have a little bit of fun with some paper. You know that classic test when you can go in the paper just how you want. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, man, this is just so... Oh, golly. Oh, all right, so uh, this thing is sharp and guys this is 9 cr 13 so let's not ask it too much of it so imagine if i do this with k390 or some type of super steel guys this is gonna be a little bit more insane but just the fact that it slices through paper just like vertical any angle and it just it just destroys it i mean it's just there you go oh just that is just Ah, oh, this is something. I don't know if I'm gonna carry this or if I'm gonna play with the edge, but I don't know if the edge is gonna last that long. And guys, I wanna show you guys this before I go. On the work sharp, I did put the click. 
I did put it below uh, 15 so I don't know if that's accurate or not but I went down and I pressed it until it wouldn't move anymore so I went to the lowest possible I don't know uh, this is if this is 14 if this is 13 if you know the, the scale is not right on there that little sticker that they posted I don't know guys but I went to the lowest setting possible I reprofiled the whoops I reprofiled the edge on the um, on the CVV Praxis with the 320 it took a little bit of while but that edge is super thin and this is what makes it conducive to be able to be uh, reprofiled so you guys can see the shoulder there and look on this side you can see see it a little bit more so yeah you can see that shoulder there so I've pushed it back a little bit so guys uh, love it love this system well I like this system love it is another thing you have to play with it a little bit to make it a little bit better but this is coming close to a KME guys this is coming very close to a KME and a Wicked Edge in terms of edge quality so I would like to have that little best machine just to just to be able to click do that little uh, thing to see if it would be under 50 that would be really fun to see so but if I ever get a, a blade in the different steel that's a super steel a powder steel that can get even a finer edge uh, that that would be just incredible and amazing uh, right now I'm playing with 9 CR 13 and the best I got is D2 so uh, yeah D2 blade so guys but 9 CR is not that bad it's close to D2 so anyways that's the knife that I want to try to reprofile because I think in my collection this is the one that has the tennis edge so yeah guys so what do you guys think uh, is this a good system would you buy it would you do the PSA lapping film so I just want to want to show you guys something else so that, that's all the uh, well not just for this knife but let's say for this knife I used two or three greens uh, two whites that's for sure uh, a couple of pink so <laughs> yeah guys and the other one the transparent with the blue so the the blue one is nine microns so nine microns the green is uh, the pink is point uh, three uh, yeah nine microns point three microns the green is one micron and the white is 0 0.1 uh, point three microns so guys uh, <laughs> Oh, the edge that I put on I hope all that work get rewarded guys and you you guys could saw under the microscope there's no light shining on that edge whatsoever there's no even under the microscope you can't see that little piece of silver shining there so you know this puppy sharp guys all right guys hope you guys enjoy this long video I'm sorry about that but it's just something that I'm I'm passionate about it and I'm enthusiastic so I'm gonna put the entire video I'm just gonna do a little bit of editing but if you like that video guys give it a thumbs up that's always appreciated and I'll catch you guys on the next one